he made the classic uh, white nationalist argument there. Only 45% of the city identifies white British. Do you believe non-white people- makes the point, doesn't it? Can be British? Bush, I don't care what you think is racist. I don't care, Bush. But what I'm saying is that Wait, most people- do you think non-white people, people can be British? Most people, Bush, in the United Kingdom, do not identify as British. Uh, what you're advocating for <laughs> is an ethno state, then, then you Absolutely are by definition genius. advocating for an ethno state. And what's unique is, I think in this case, it's not because you're racist, it's because you're too stupid to know the definition of ethnicity. I will embrace the Dalai Lama's white nationalism, Europe for the Europeans, as he says. In fact, I, you know, I don't really care about the financial argument, but it is a true argument. I'm more concerned with the fact that we, we are we are cultures with traditions and histories and heritages, and there are definitely places that you can see that immigration has changed that and er eroded that. And so you can't reasonably say that, you know, Birmingham or London are English cities. These are not cities that tend to follow the English traditions. And that's concerning, considering that's the two largest cities in England, I would say. So, and I, th I think that people have, I think that's a valid concern that people have position because your last argument is your real argument and i'm glad you saved it for last this culture changing uh thing um i don't know by what metric london isn't an english city the majority of its residents were born in england um which i mean i, I even if that wasn't the case it is within england it is an english city in every legal sense i don't know what you mean by uh not an english city uh, what is an American city? Is, uh, is, is, is Pensacola, Florida an American city? Because its culture is very different to Seattle or New York or Los Angeles, which are other American cities. I don't think you can determine, actually, what type of nation a city belongs to by the culture of its inhabitants. Uh, London is a very impressive city in many ways. It has other problems, undoubtedly, that should be addressed. Uh, to call it not English, I think, is, um, uh, I don't know, a little stupid? We'll, uh, let's okay. give uh, Carl plenty of time to respond. Of course. Okay. Uh, I, I, I think that's absolutely hilarious. I, I think you haven't done much traveling. If you think you can't determine uh, the country a city is in by the culture of the inhabitants, that's absurd. Um, the, it's about just them identifying as English. They don't identify as English. They don't consider themselves to be English. They don't follow English traditions. They don't really care about the history of the country, and they don't care about the, um, the sort of culture of it. And I think those are things worth caring about. Um, but more importantly, I, 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 I'm not going to just let you walk away from the fact that you are a communist who is arguing for the increase in billionaire wealth at the expense of the poorest people in society. It's not that it, it's, it's not even immoral not to care about the poor. That's not immoral to not care about something. It's immoral to exploit them to improve the size of billionaire checks. What? And then the thing is, from this, it drives you to necessarily have to violate people's rights, in this case, property rights, whereas we could just avoid violating property rights by simply not allowing mass immigration. Because they, this is, as you admit, driving people's wages down, and I'm sure that contributes to them living paycheck to paycheck. If there was a buyer's market for, um, uh, if there was a seller's market for labor, uh, not a buyer's market for labor, then these people would need minimum wages. But the problem is, it's a seller's market. Uh, it's a, it's a, yeah, it's a buyer's market for labor. The corporations have all the cards because they are never a shortage for workers because of mass immigration. It's just harmful to these people. You're putting them in a position they can't really escape from. And what you're saying is, right, now we're going to have to use excessive state power and revolution. I think that this is just the wrong way to go. Thanks so much. Uh, yeah, so um, I, I can't remove earwax. Uh, I don't know if you haven't heard me uh, explain the myriad ways in which immigration benefits the economy in such a way as to compensate for the incredibly minor. And all the economists who have written on this, by the way, they're very clear to say this is an incredibly minor decrease in the average wages of the lower echelon of our economic hierarchy. I think it's funny, by the way, that you say that immigration is part of the reason why so many Americans are living paycheck to paycheck, when every single economic source I looked over indicated that the percentage of people in America who were affected by immigration and had their wages lowered were high school dropouts, which constitute a fairly small percentage of this country. I think it was around 12 to 13 percent. 80 percent of Americans live paycheck to paycheck. That's not immigration, my friend. That's capitalism, because the majority of Americans benefit in terms of wage growth 
from the existence of immigration. So nice try, trying to skip on by that one. I don't know what your point was with Londoners don't identify as English. If you could provide me a source or like a polling data where, where Londoners were asked if they thought they were English or something. Maybe a lot of them said no because they're immigrants. Uh, I don't know what that means for the city. Uh, 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 it seems like an incredibly weird point to make. I, I, I don't know. Londoners don't identify as, I, I don't even have a counter argument for that one. If you have data, I would be very interested in seeing it. Um, I think London is a city and it's in England and most of its inhabitants are English citizens. So it seems like by any metric, um, the, the, the city is English. The reason why I say you can't really make a, uh, uh, like sort of a, a cross comparison between the culture of a city and the country and it's in is because I live in America. Um, uh, um, I live in America. We have an incredible range of cultures here in this country, uh, many of which, and this isn't just an immigration thing, many of which are, have been in this country for a very long time, from Appalachia to the west to the east coast to the south to the northeast. We have a huge range of countries in this place, or sorry, sorry, cultures in this country. And I don't know which one of them is American. It, it seems like there isn't really an American culture. There's no single one. There are just cities and people, and we all live in a border, and we try our best to make our way, you know, making our way downtown, walking fast. Uh, and London, I imagine, is the same way. I have not been to England. I imagine that if I traveled its breadth, I would find that there are different cultures in different cities, not just from London to the rest of England, but from the north to the south, from the east to the west, from larger cities to smaller cities. And I would come to the conclusion, as I have here in America, that trying to make some ubiquitous determination as to a nation's default culture and whether or not a city is part of that country because it has that culture it's 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 nonsense it's it's pseudo it's it's pseudo sociology it, you can't you know falsify any of it it's just feelings and i don't like feelings i like facts i'm very fact oriented here on my channel thanks so much uh yeah sorry i'm just finishing my notes so i like your your understanding of uh and your your view of um uh people as part of groups is laughable i mean you can right. like for example in the tw the the data <laughs> can you show me some data yeah it's called the census Bosch. it's called the census i have it up in front of me yeah mm -hmm. and in 2011, which is the last one, and this was quite some time ago, after much mass immigration, uh, only 45% of the city identifies white British. Are so you? Do you believe non-white people? Makes the point, doesn't it? Can be British. Bosch, I don't care what you think is racist. I don't care, Bosch. But what I'm saying well, is that wait, most people. Do you think non-white people, people can be British? One sec. Most people, Bosch, in the United Kingdom, do not identify as British. In, in London, sorry, not in the East Kingdom, sorry. Uh, do not identify as British. Therefore, your opinion on my opinion on who is and is not British is not relevant because we're just asking people how they identify. They don't think they are, and so that's the end of that conversation. But Based anyway, on what? Nationality or on, ethnicity? Vosch, hang, Vosch, based on their own self identification. And that's in, in nationality or ethnicity? Oh, Vosch, Vosch, Why can't you just answer? My turn. It, Vosch, it's my turn to talk, isn't it? So, All right. Uh, based on self identification. Um, and honestly, I don't understand how you don't understand that you keep saying that you are, you, and you know, you are targeting the poorest in society and you are justifying targeting them for exploitation by saying it's only a minor decrease and everyone else benefits. Why should the poorest in society carry that burden? I think that richer people should go without in order to not exploit the poorest in society. And I thought I was the capitalist. So you've admitted already that immigrants, uh, immigration hurts prior immigrants and the lowest earning. You, you have no leg to stand on here. Go. Um, right. Okay. So I've addressed the latter point like six times now. Um, yeah. So no, you what, you're, what you're you advocating keep failing for to address is, it. Carl, it's okay. You'll get a chance again. Uh, what you're advocating for <laughs> is an ethno state. Um, and I can prove that I have the data right here. We can actually look at it on my stream. Uh, so the number of Londoners as of the 2011 census showed that 63.3% of London's population was born in England. They're English citizens. So the majority of people in England are English. You said a minority as in less than 50% are white British, which suggests 
that you aren't counting non-white English people as part of what constitutes an English identity in the country. And this is a problem we ran into the last time we talked. Um, you're advocating for an ethno state. Uh, there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. You're using people's ethnic identity as a descriptive to determine whether or not they are legitimately English. Now, nationality, I, I, I get, you know, if you weren't born in England, that's totally fine to say that person's not English. I think that's valid. Maybe if they lived there like 60 years or something, but that's getting in the weeds. You're using ethnicity. And I'm, I'm going to be honest, as a liberal, as someone who believes in the principles of liberalism, you know, I'm very, I'm very much big on that classical liberalism. I'm not a big fan of ethno states, Carl. And it's a little weird to me that you would deliberately sidestep clarifying whether you mean ethnicity or nationality because you're too cowardly to acknowledge the fact that it is in fact ethnicity that you are using as the determining factor in whether or not you consider a person English. You'll note, if you want to go over the census, which I have in front of me, I can show it to my stream too, many people in the census who recorded their ethnic identities fit into a category of either Asian or Asian British. Asian or Asian British, black or black British. The ethnicity section doesn't distinguish between national identity because that's not what it's trying to do. It's their ethnicity. And I would say, by the way, I'm, uh, what's my ethnicity? I am Irish and Polish for the most part. And if you ask me what I am, I would say I am an American because even though my ethnic identity does not come from America, my personal identity, my nationality is American, as are many of the English people you are saying are not legitimately a part of England, are not part of the English identity. I don't really have any, like, I mean, if you want to argue in favor of an ethnostate, you're fine. I have sources on those too. Um, but is that really an argument you want to be on the table making? Thanks so much. Vosh, these people don't identify as English. Ethnically. Ethnically, they don't identify as English. I don't identify as American ethnically, but yeah, I am you still are, American. Whether you, are, whether you identify as it or not, you clearly Do you know are. what an ethnicity is? This is an ethno yeah, state. You're like, saying a national second. identity you, is determined define by ethnicity. ethnicity for me, just because I just want to be sure that Carl gets that uh, roughly two minutes or so. And, uh, no, I'm, I'm interested. I'd like to do a bit of back and forth. What, okay. what do you think ethnicity is defined as, Walsh? Ethnicity, a N ethnicity, not one's ethnic identity, is What's defined by. Group? I'm sorry? What's an ethnic group? An ethnic group are people to yep. adhere to an ethnicity, and an ethnicity is determined by a people with a collective culture, nationality, language, heritage. There are a lot of things that could determine one's ethnicity. Yeah, but that's not race, is it? N no. no. I'm not talking about race. I'm talking about ethnicity. I never said Neither race. Neither am I. These people who are in London, the, the, the majority of people in London view themselves as being an ethnicity that does not originate in the British Isles. Yes, and you are making right. ethnicity the determining characteristic as to whether or not they are English. No, they don't call themselves English. Yes, they ethnically. are making that. No, ethnically. They nope. are saying they ethnically do not identify as English. If they ethnically identified as English, I wouldn't care where they came from. If they, if they came, like this is literally what my grandfather did. You, Ooh. right? He came over here to become English. But they have not come here to become English. I have a problem with that. Why but don't you? You do know ethnicity doesn't mean the culture you subscribe to, right? Here in America, so so again, I mean, Actually, I don't know how much time you spend. part of it is the culture and the language. It can and the be, but it's yes. not determinant. So it you can, can come. Here, you can come here to America. Of can, course, it, of course, it can be. And there can, are and there are weeds can, who are American can, who are born in America. Carl. Can you stop acting like a child for a moment and listen to the argument that you're going to attempt to rebuke? <laughs> if you come over yeah. here to America, you'll find that there are people who are very much American, who have been here for generations, that are ethnicities all over the place. What's your ethnic identity? I'm Korean. I'm Indian. I'm Irish. I'm Russian. You get this all over the place. Uh, people don't really say American as an ethnicity because of the unique socio-political history of our country. But if you ask these people, nonetheless, if they're an American, they'll say yes. And culturally, these people are all the same. They don't. If you're ethnically Korean because your great great grandmother came over here in 1914, that doesn't mean when you say you're ethnically Korean that you still subscribe to the cultural values of the Korean people. It doesn't. It doesn't work that way. You are using ethnicity to determine 
whether or not a person is English as a culture or as an identity. We are speaking yes. only of ethnicity. Yes, 100%. That's how it's determined. Okay, then, then you Absolute are by definition genius. advocating for an ethno state. And what's unique is, I think in this case, it's not because you're racist. It's because you're too stupid to know the definition of ethnicity. <laughs> you think back. it means what culture are you a part of? And I don't know can, if I have the time gosh. and energy to explain L literally. to you. You read out the words. It can, can be. Can, of course, yes, anything can. can. Can you find me census data on the identified culture of different ethnic groups? Culture, not yes, their ethnicity they or their nationality. They identify as not being English. I'm not saying it's a racial yes. identification. For some of them, it might be racial, but that's not my criteria. But it's, for them, they and you, you in America, like you say, it's a unique position you're in. That's why you have hyphenated Americans. They are not just Koreans, they are Korean Americans. Asian or Asian British. There is, Asian or on, Asian hey, African. I, I, it's here in the I, census. I, you have the same thing. Boss, you know shut why? Up. Let's give it. Can we'll you mute him so I could have my time to talk, please? Um, you have a particular unique circumstance in the United States. We do not have that in Europe. That is not the same thing here. So, uh -oh. uh, one sec. From your so sorry, Carl. Perspective on what no, this the is connection. improving his arguments. The connection, the connection was just fading for a little bit. So I would say those last two <laughs> sentences, Carl, if you could say those again. One more time, Carl. <laughs> Sorry about that. Can, can we mute Vosh while I'm talking? Is that okay? Vosh, can you, Vosh, can you do me a favor and give him that I'm very calm. Minutes? I'll chill out. Sorry. Um, the people who have come here simply do not identify as English. I don't want England's capital city to be a non-English city. I don't want her second city to be a non-English city. These are arguments from ethnicity that is correct. I'm not saying they can't become English. I'm not saying they shouldn't be encouraged to become English. They should be encouraged to become English. Because like we said, this is not about race. This is about self-identification, about belief, how you feel about yourself. And we are not, uh, there, are, there are lots of immigrants who come over with the intention of becoming a part of the historical continuum that is Britain or England or whatever whatever way you want to describe it. But there are also lots of people here who have absolutely no intention. And I think that is unacceptable. I think that's a form of exploitation of the native population. I mean, at the end of the day, the English don't have anywhere else to go. But these people do if things all go wrong. So I think we do have to be cognizant of that. But finally, Vosh, and this is the most important thing, you are not addressing, now, despite you trying to have wave it away the fact that you were a communist arguing for the exploitation of the poor right okay so first of all you're lying uh american uh, ethnicities are often hyphenated african-american or uh, uh korean-american we do do that and you'll find here and i'm showing it on my stream in the um in the census for england this is on london data specifically but this is the language that's used elsewhere asian or asian british or uh, for Indian, Pakistani, Bangladeshi, or British or Black British, you know, mixed white and Black Caribbean. The reason why they do this is because the people who wrote the census know that A, ethnicities are not determinate of one culture, and B, because ethnicities can become mixed and dissoluted and have more to do with one's identity. Sorry, sorry you're gonna have to you're gonna have to repeat that from. I, I, I hang on, I didn't I didn't hear you. Sorry, it went robot on my end. It said from the 2011 census, and then it went robot. That's okay. I'd love to make this point a second time. So mm. with here the 2011 census, we can see the reason why we use terms like Asian or Asian British being put in the same box or black and black British being put in the same box is because the um, people who took the census or who made the census wanted to make it perfectly clear. And they gave the option to those who um, wrote into the census that whether you identify as uh, say, for example, Pakistani ethnically or, um, or British Pakistani, whether you intend on adhering to the culture of your home country or intend on integrating into the culture of England, those are grouped into the same category because ethnicity is not a determining factor in one's cultural identity, which is why there are Korean Americans here in America who just act like regular fucking Americans, except they uh, I don't know. They seem to be more fashionable in my personal experience. And there are Indian Americans who just act like Americans. And if you go over to England, then I will say this confidently, despite having never been to England, you will find there are plenty of people who 
over the past four generations have come from other countries and ascribed to other identities ethnically, nonetheless act British. And the reason for that, and the reason I'm capable of recognizing that, is because I don't believe in ethnostates. What Carl just did, even though, again, he doesn't know what ethnicity means, that's fine, I guess. I'm not here well, to I defined him. it for you. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Um, that's fine yeah, if he doesn't understand, much, but right? what he's advocating for, either through malice or ignorance, is an ethnostate. He even made the um, he even made the the classic argument at the end there: English people have nowhere else to go, but they can come here. He made the uh, Asia for Asian people, Africa for Black people, uh, Western country for everyone. He made the classic uh, white nationalist argument there. Um, but again, I doubt he understands the nuances of the arguments he would have to make to win that. So I'm going to back off him on there. Um, I don't believe in ethnostates, Carl. I believe in liberalism. You know, I believe that people should be able You're to live in the countries they want and that I don't think their uh, uh, ethnic identities going decades or even centuries back should determine whether or not you consider them legit legitimately English. I think that's uh, frankly quite immoral. Um, if that cinches up the immigration thing, because I didn't hear hang any on, Hang on, hang on, hang on. Don't, don't pretend like... Whoa, I didn't finish. Okay. I'm just advocating for another point. You, you, you were about to change the subject. Let's no, no, no. I'm, I'm, I'm putting forward the offer, Carl. It's a, do you want to stick on this? Well, uh, have you finished talking or not? Do you, want to, do you want to stick on this point? Yes, I do want to stick oh, on okay, this. Oh, okay, okay. Well, talking? far be it for me to step past have, you, Have partner. you finished talking? Um, have you finished talking? Yeah, let me, let me think of a closing argument Let be quiet. Let be quiet. Yeah. Quiet, well, so whoa, 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 Carl! Right, if I remember right, I want to try <laughs> Don't to remember. Get upset, just just... If I remember, it might have. It was at Vosh. I think you might have gotten the ball rolling on this topic. If I remember right, and what we could do is, if you have any final last pithy points to add on to that, Vosh, we can give you that chance, and then otherwise we'll go over to Carl after that. And... Yeah, I think I want a last sentence or two, and then Carl can say whatever the hell he wants, and then we can move to another topic if you'd like. You bet. Um, but yeah, uh, final point. Um, again, I, 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 he doesn't know what ethnicity means. That's fine. I'm not an ethnostater. Um, and I think it's fitting then um, that Carl is so dishonest and disingenuous when he talks about the economic output uh, or the consequences of immigration. It's not because he actually cares about the poor. His economic positions make that perfectly clear. It's because he's looking for a sort of back alley economic justification for marginalizing the people he sees as immigrants into his country. Uh, it's a very common tactic. People have been doing it for hundreds of years and people keep falling for it. Too. Too. So I mean, Godspeed to him if it keeps working, right? And Carl, you can uh, you can go for it. Are you prepared to be quiet now? I'll take your silence as a yes. Um, I find that really funny. Um, I defined ethnicity for you. I sent you the link on the thing to the ethnic the definition of ethnic group that we commonly use, with the express purpose of pointing out that this is not about race. Because when you say the ethno staters, they are talking about race. You know they are talking about race. They just use ethnostate as a misnomer because ethnicity has been conflated for whatever reason with race. And in fact, it's not specifically about race at all. Um, I will embrace the Dalai Lama's white nationalism, Europe for the Europeans, as he says. I, I do think that people are ethnic group peoples are entitled to homelands. I actually do think that's a thing. I think that you couldn't really argue against it because then you're arguing against literally every every uh independence movement from the british empire what is this a, a, an indian an indian ethno state what's wrong with the british being here what's you know it's it's ridiculous um but mainly this isn't about my consideration i like the way that voice was framing this again to claim i'm using dishonest tactics is remarkable because he's not he's not accepting that he's the one who's advocating for persecuting and exploiting the poor and the immigrants in order to make everyone's life everyone else's lives uh, nicer. And then he's ignoring the fact that, again, it's what these people identify as. They do not consider themselves to be English. Now, I'm not saying there can't be any people who don't identify as English, but I think that when you get to the point where it's the majority of, a, a majority of the people in the capital city who don't think of themselves as English, I think there are broader questions there that need to be asked. And pretending offense because that broader question is being asked, it, it doesn't matter whether you think it's good or bad, there are going to be people who have that conversation without you. So shutting it down is no good at all. And lying about being a liberal, considering you're openly a communist, is a bizarre tactic and just makes you look more dishonest. So, uh, yeah, to, to put it simply, um, what Carl advocated for, at least in the first section there, was, was white nationalism. Um, it's true he isn't speaking of race. He is speaking of ethnicity. That's why the term ethnostate is ethnostate and not race state. 
Um, many people use ethno state interchangeably with, say, for example, a white nationalist state. And he wasn't doing that. He's speaking specifically of Britain. But then he went ahead and say he agreed with this, the, the Dalai Lama's proposal of Europe for the Europeans and Africa for the Africans and what have you, which, which is, yeah, it's, essentially it's advocating for ethno states. Um, so he made that rather easy for me. And uh, again, I don't know how many times I have to keep saying it. I love it when he gives me the chance to because I'm right. So it makes me look really good. But um, immigration, even with the decrease to the average wage of low paid workers, benefits low paid workers. It also benefits the immigrants because the immigrants chose to came there, you chose to come there, usually from poorer countries in search of job opportunities and um, uh, economic opportunities that wouldn't have been available to them in their home countries. We benefit from that. Something like 50% of all patents filed over the past, uh, I think it was in 2017, I would need to recheck that statistic, were done by immigrants. That's an incredible statistic. There's a lot of innovation going on there. Everyone benefits. But if you want to keep white people in England and non-white people out, then yeah, I'd be anti-immigration too. Thank you very much. And now...